for us as well. Sure. What yeah. is uh, what are we what are we seeing here right now? This is actually uh, a, a, a pretty early level in the campaign. It's the second the second kind of mission you're you're on here. Um, it takes place in in uh, what's called the resource operations facility in the UAC. Um, you've uh, you you basically at the very beginning of the game you've woken up. Um, and fought your way out of a, a kind of a secret bunker that uh, that you're in. You don't know why. You don't have a, a really good idea of what's happened. Oh. Um, and you really just <laughs> you start tearing things apart. So, um, uh, if I don't mind, if you don't mind answering this, I noticed the characters, you know, the, the different demons and all that stuff and monsters. Uh, they flash with like orange and blue. Um, I know that that has been talked about before, uh, but I guess for some new viewers who may not have seen. A doom before what does that actually indicate yeah that's our that's uh, kind of our glory kill system um, when uh, when you've done a certain amount of damage to uh, to an enemy uh, your your visor and your HUD highlights them in in that way uh, when they when they turn kind of that uh, that that bluish uh, that that means they they're stunned and they're kind of in a state of uh, we call it a stagger state um, and uh, and they're 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 particularly vulnerable and you can you can shoot them you can run up to them and and uh, and then glory kill them. Um, so uh, and and when you get close enough, they turn orange. Uh, that uh, that's all. Um, you know that that stuff can be turned off through the settings if somebody doesn't doesn't like that. Wants a little bit more of a challenge for themselves. Okay. Um, uh, here, Speaking of challenge. Yeah. As a matter of fact, ultra violent mode. Oh yes, of okay. course. Oh, oh, yeah, Hugo's playing on uh, on hurt me plenty. Um, we didn't we didn't want him dying too much. Uh, but uh, but you know the challenge of playing the game is actually a really big thing. Here he's, here he's bringing up uh, our automat that station he touched. Uh, you find those in throughout the game. Um, without that, you basically kind of go through and, and you're revealing parts of the level as you go through. Um, but secrets, finding secrets is a big deal. So here he revealed um, kind of a, a secret space by, by getting the automat and seeing that there was a space above him that he might not have, uh, might not have realized before. Nice. Nice, and and we did see just there uh, Olivia Pierce, who actually is uh, going to be a central figure uh, in the story. We, we probably don't want to dive too deep, because yeah. clearly we want people to discover that when the game releases. Um, but uh, I, I would say for you know Doom multi, for, I mean for Doom single player people, sorry, we love the multiplayer so much. Uh, <laughs> for Doom uh, single player guys, you know it's a little bit of a change of pace, right? Because Doom had traditionally told stories through you know just like segments of. Line of lines and senses, like oh, this situation's happening here, and so on and so yeah. forth. Really simplistic stuff. You guys are bringing in, uh, you know, an antagonist uh, into this to really help drive the narrative for, you know, why our character is doing what they're doing, what they're doing. Here. Yeah, for sure. We we don't, you know, we don't put story front and center at, at all. Doom's about doing this. I mean, it's about you know fighting demons and and using awesome guns. Uh, so it, it's it hasn't been a huge huge focus necessarily, but. You know, as I, as I mentioned, you, you, we, we've tried to infuse a lot of mystery and, a, and, a, and a, you know, a, a story that can that will keep you kind of playing and, and, and digging if you want it. Uh, it's it's uh, you know we, we, we tend to we, we kind of say like we, we keep it pushed you know pushed out of the way a little bit and yeah. uh, and have you have you diving in to, to, to try and figure it out. Here's another example. You know, he, he kind of is seeing that uh, that there was a, a suit of armor up there that he missed. Um, you know, again, players players can choose to pull that up whenever they want. If they're if you're a if you're really into the exploration uh, aspect of the game, um, and and you want to find all the all the secrets and you want 100 percent, might be something up there. But uh, so is, is that bit there when he brings up the map um, visible uh, always, or is it just like, hey, here's this part that you may have missed, and then the map kind of. Uh, alludes to a hint, or there are even more secret portions that I probably will miss, and, and the map won't tell me. Yeah, there's, there's uh, absolutely, there's, there's. In, in fact, the map doesn't specifically tell you where there's, where there's secrets, and and because he found the uh, the auto map station, it's revealing the the whole map. Uh, if he wouldn't have found that, uh, just just that piece, it would only be revealing where he's where he's going. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, and, and then the auto map stations are they like actually hidden within the map or yeah there's know? there's one in one in each map uh, usually kind of towards the towards the beginning so you can try and find it uh, or if you're you know if you're just more into like running and gunning uh, you know you, Doing can, the you can you can skip them exactly you can see here actually we, we've talked about the the glory kill system a, a little bit but uh, what's one of the one of the nice things about it is it's it's really contextual so you can see. Basically, wherever he's looking on the on the character, oh, he's man. getting these these really fluid kills, and and um, and again, it's it's uh, it's completely optional to glory kill enemies, um, and and as you get further into the game, 
um, you know, becomes kind of strategic. Like you could have, uh, you know, you could have a few guys staggered uh, and decide, man, this is a perfect opportunity to take them out with a with a bigger gun, use a yeah. rocket launcher or a Gauss. Um, uh, in, in this case, you know, these are all pretty pretty early enemies. This is this is very early in the game, so you're mostly fighting imps and zombies. Um, and he, the codex here. Tell yeah, me about he, this. Yeah, this is this is actually one of the the ways that uh, the players can can dive in and, and figure out. Uh, you know, kind of figure out the the lore of the game. Um, uh, again, we, we we don't we don't really do cutscenes and and you know big cinematic moments. It's just not what we feel like it, Doom is all about. Uh, but we did want to want to provide a really nice foundation uh, for players to to be able to to understand what was going on with the UAC, uh, a little bit about who you are and about you know and, and quite a bit about what was going on there. Um, and and actually give quite a bit of lore on on the different uh, the different characters or the different monsters, the the demons. Um, you know, it's it's a pretty rich universe that, that hasn't, um, you know, we've never been particularly explicit about some of these things. So, uh, you know, we, I mean, we talk about how how revenants are formed, and and uh, there's a there's a whole kind of fiction behind that. Uh, but again, it's it's there if you want it. Um, if you just want to want to, you know, kind of play very naturally and just power through, um, you, you get that. Yeah, well, if you know, if I recall correctly, one of the trailers. Um, trying to remember which trailer it was, but actually showed the construction of a cyber demon, if I was correct, all right? And I, I mean, that I find that to be really interesting too, because, you know, Doom is a pretty uh, gruesome game. So there's always like those instances, like I think one of the most uh, prominent scenes in a video game for me, uh, which is so weird, is like th dating back to the 360, which I can't believe I said dating back, but that's the world we live in now. <laughs> um, where I, I think it was a uh, Quake 4, I wanna say, when like you're going through the, the, the I guess, construction process sure. of, of like your legs being yeah, like ripped up. Yeah, the process. Yeah, and I was just like, oh my God, this is crazy, you know? And, and, I, and I actually think that that is a pretty cool element that you guys are bringing into Doom. You're really uh, trying to highlight the, the gruesomeness, while at the same time, not really uh, trying to throw like you know, crazy amounts of story in your face, and 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 I also appreciate that it's not uh, shock value, right? It's more like I have giant guns. I'm gonna beat the crap out of all the demons and yeah. monsters and everything that is around me. Yeah, de definitely. Speaking of beating the crap out of monsters, oh, yes. here comes a chainsaw. This is, this is, this is, this Hugo, really cool. have fun. And Hugo's I kind will. of actually been, if you're if you're paying attention at home, he's kind of revealing a, a couple secrets. We're not gonna we're not gonna ruin all the secrets, but uh, but it does it does give you an example of if you look around and you try to you try want. to find um, try to find some of the secrets. Um, uh, he, this is actually a, I, I was gonna actually have him turn this off, but uh, he's gonna turn off tutorials here. But you get a sense of of all this type of things that you can you can configure through the game. Um, you know, you can you can change. You know, show, oh, you can, show you your HUD. Indicate, you can turn you can turn off the entire turn off HUD. the glory kill highlighting. Turn if off you the want glory to. kill highlighting. Yeah, you can play it almost like a stripped down version where there's just there's just you, your gun, and the demons. I saw crosshair styles there. Yeah, yeah, you can you can change to a simple crosshair. Okay. Um, something something we actually pulled uh, pulled across. It's kind of fun to, to to do is field of view. Not a lot Thank of console you. games. Thank you. Do, do field of view. <laughs> if you if you want the game to even feel just a little bit faster, just crank that up a little bit to 100. I played 110. So. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Yeah, and on the multiplayer. Was, yeah, and yeah. I and I loved it. Like a lot of my viewers on my stream were telling me. Dude, just go full 110. Thank me later. And oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> that is just that is just amazing. The uh, you, you know you it, you just mentioned just not not all gratuitous. The chainsaw even has a, a, a really specific purpose in the game. And, and as you get deeper in, uh, and and you're fighting more um, you know heavier enemies, harder to kill enemies, um, it's uh, it it actually serves as a means to. Um, when you when you chainsaw a guy, it gives you a massive dump of ammunition, um, almost enough to, to refill all your guns. Really? Uh, yeah. If you notice down there in the bottom right hand corner, those two little uh, uh, kind of markers, um, that's your chainsaw ammo. And you find ammo throughout the world. Um, and different enemies, these enemies take only one, oh. uh, you know, one fuel cell. Um, but uh, some of the heavier guys will take all of your fuel or three of your fuel. Um, so you're kind of as you, as you get deeper, there's guys that if you get low on on health or you get low on ammo. Um, you can kind of make the choice of like I want I want a really big dump of ammo when I when I chainsaw this guy, or I want the one hit kill and, and you kind of spend your ammo uh, accordingly. Um, so uh, so here's a this is this is kind of a you know we we, we, we love the classic elements kind of doing them in a new way. Um, this is a uh, a yellow security station. Um, this guy was able to pass through. I can I can see so uh, um, you know these are. This is we do a lot of our storytelling and and, um, and kind of hints and clues through the world uh, in a in a very um, 
just environmental way. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't doesn't stop you down. I mean, you, you, um, you know, he elected to go up there and, and touch that. So, uh, and and it gave him a clue like that guy can get through there. So now he's kind of on a on a quest to find to find that guy. Um, and and as you can see here too, like we're we're kind of touching. He's looked into some areas that he can't quite get into yet. Um, uh, and and uh, and showing some branching paths, so yeah. uh, lots of different ways to approach uh, getting through the space and and, uh, and kind of making your way through the game. Oh, I like that pistol. It's nice little couple one shot kills there. Yeah. What's the alternate fire for that? Uh, to charge up. To charge up. Yeah. You can see right there. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's nice. And and actually, since we are talking about the weapons here, um, you guys made some changes to how the weapons are done, modifications and all that stuff too. Yeah, we'll we'll get into like this again. This is pretty early in the game, so uh, we try to you know we try to ramp the player up. There's a lot of there's a lot of kind of mechanics and and ideas that uh, this this actually being one of them right here uh, that are that are a little bit different than other games. You'll notice as as he comes into this space, we talked about. Um, you know, we've talked about the way our combat spaces feel uh, kind of abstract, almost like uh, 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 arenas, like skate parks, we, we tend yeah. to call them. That was, uh, I love those, those that was a good one. kills from above. Way to go, you go. Yeah. That's um, actually one of my favorites. I like the, the sweep. Yeah, but if you look at this space, it's, 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 it's set up for combat, you know? I mean, that, that we, we build these spaces for, for very fun combat, uh, and then, you know, visually, you know, make them make some sense, but, uh, but really, they're, they're built for combat. Um, so you'll see how he kind of moves through this world. This is a gore nest. Um, these things are, are present. They kind of create these lockdown areas that when you when you take them out, it summons uh, it summons demons to kind of protect the, the space and, and do a bit of a last stand. So you always kind of see those and you you, you rub your hands together, going, "This is this is going to be a good fight." <laughs> Again, this is pretty early in the game, so uh, a lot of a lot of enemies that uh, uh, you know kind of on the on the smaller side, um, but uh, but very acrobatic. That's one of my favorite glory kills. Oh, there. dude, look at you. It's almost like you've done this before, Hugo. <laughs> this is, uh, this actually looks pretty cool here. And, and, and yeah, this this section is pretty gruesome. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no way. <laughs> Blew himself up. You had one job. Yeah, that's right. You had one job. <laughs> you had one job. He'll, he'll get back to it. This, this arena is really, really fun. It's, it's yeah. uh, at this point in the game, you've actually played through uh, a few arenas. Um, there's some, there's, as you kind of have crossed the Martian surface at the very beginning in the, in the, in the first uh, mission, um, we, we kind of ramp you up. Again, there's, it's, it, it plays really different than a lot of modern shooters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we've said, in, you know, kind of throughout the campaign uh, that if you, if you stop, you're dead. I mean, it's, it's all about movement. Well, and I, got, and I got caught in a corner then when I died. Yeah, I caught in a corner. It was a grenade to your feet. Pretty much you set yourself up for failure. Which actually reminds me <laughs> that I should probably... Myself, I have one point. So, okay. uh, so what are we seeing here? Yeah, right here. This is um, uh, this is our kind of uh, Praetor suit upgrade. So, uh, the the suit that you wear is called the Praetor suit. We talk a little bit about that in the lore. But um, but what he's kind of diving through here. Why don't you bring those back up real quick so so we can explain them. Um, this is uh, this is where you upgrade. As you can see, right now he only has the pistol and the and the shotgun. Um, and uh, and he's already received uh, two modifications to the shotgun. So the, each gun has kind of a base Ooh. capability that you, that you use with the right trigger. And then uh, as you explore the world, you find these supply drones. Yeah. They scan your arsenal and give you options uh, to, to, uh, to attach a mod to this. So uh, for the shotgun, he's already found the charge burst mod and the explosive shot mod. Um, and, uh, and then there's upgrades that you can earn through these uh, upgrade points. Uh, that you earn all different ways, combat, exploration, uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, and what's nice about these is, is you actually don't have to follow the strict progression. You can, like, if you jump down, he could he could choose any of those open slots. Okay. Um, uh, and then and then once you've unlocked those three, you then get uh, the a challenge that'll allow you to master the gun. Um, and it and it really creates this um, this nice progression. Now Doom has always been about well, and then I'll, I'll explain this so you can get back to gameplay. Um, so his Praetor suit. Um, has these different categories of upgrades. You get these these points um, through finding um, through a lot of exploration. You you find um, these elite guards that have this chip in them, and you get to spend that on your own suit. Um, so here he's going to upgrade his dexterity or his environmental resistance, area scanning, um, equipment systems, uh, and and allows you to 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 kind of hone hone the gameplay to to your specific preferences. Yeah, and um, I notice he basically had one slot on on three categories there. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Uh, and and that, that's a, that, that follows a, a, a path. So 
you know, you kind of spend it however you want. If you want to, if you really are, are, are the kind of player that loves to find secrets, there's uh, there's upgrades that allow you to, to do that more easily. Um, if you love the equipment system, um, you can continue to upgrade that. Um, if you want a faster experience, your dexterity stuff is really, really fun to make uh, glory kills faster as you play through the game. Um, and, you know, D Doom has always kind of been this, uh, this escalation of, of guns and demons, so you just, you kind of take one step on the ladder and then the demons take one step up and yeah. then you take one step up. And uh, so we've done that through the, the collection of guns, but also the, the finding of mods um, and, and then the, the, the progression through, through upgrades. Yeah, and I'm noticing that too, right? He, he went after the, uh, you know, that particular, the, with the gore segment. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the monsters that are popping out, uh, you know, aren't your, you know, big monsters at this point in time, right? It, it, I could see that ramp up potentially happening. It makes me even more excited yeah. for what the, uh, what the future levels are going to look like. Because oh, yeah. I can only imagine how ridiculous it gets. And, and uh, something I, of course, don't, oh, nice. Look at that right there. Let's hit him with it. Uh, so uh, something I did want to know is about maybe see potential big ammo dump. Uh, yeah. new demons and new monsters. Is that like something we could see, or are you guys sticking to the core uh, and what people love and, and, and the and the monsters that have been around? A, a lot of the core, but but we do have we do have some surprises in there that I think people will enjoy. Ooh, um, we're, right. we're, we're trying we're not we're trying not to give too much away. No, it's perfectly um, fine. But uh, right, but, but yeah, we, we've uh, we've we've got some uh, yeah some 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 fun stuff in there. Nice. Um, uh, but you know, I mean, it, it kind of go, going back, we, we uh, to, to your to, to an earlier question about it, you know, just being doomed. We, we really did want to, um, we, we did want to start, uh, and, and we really do look at this as a foundation we can build on in the future. We really hope to build on. Um, we did want to start with the things that people love and we love, you know, so like pinky demons and caca demons, um, uh, hell knights, barons. So you'll see a lot of that stuff in in here. Um, this is a, again just a another little clue of. Following the following the guy you're looking for. Yeah, that's um, my that's my yellow key card basically. That's your like that's your yellow key card. Yeah, kind of a new take on on yellow key card. Okay, okay, that's cool. So now, speaking about uh, the missions too, um, you know, of course, uh, the community has a very deep appreciation for all the you know various missions, and you know, like they play them over and over again and find new ways on how to you know improve on their whether it be their strategy, their approach, or just enjoying the design of the levels, because uh, if that's actually the one thing that I've noticed a lot about the Doom community, because I've been reading a lot of the Doom subreddit, uh, various Doom community sites, and um, what I thought was uh, pretty cool was really seeing the appreciation that these guys have for uh, game design and yeah. the approach. And I think you you touched on that a little bit, saying like, you know, this area here is built for combat, right? And like. You know, and, and you layered it, and, and of course, I'm fully expecting the community, when the game comes out, to deep dive and break down every single detail. Um, so with that said, speaking of like what people can expect, when they play uh, the missions and, and whatnot, how long can they expect each mission to be? Is it just catered to how long you want to take? Like, if I run through everything like a crazy person, uh, like how long would I, like the average time from start to finish for each mission? You know, I, I, it, it really depends on how you play and, and how much time you spend. Uh, I, you know, most of our, most of our play tests, we, we do focus tests at the, at the studio. Most of our focus tests for new players who kind of their, their first run through uh, of the game, if they're looking for a moderate number of secrets and trying to, you know, trying to upgrade their guns and that kind of thing. Um, it's it's in the 13 to 15 hour range to get through on on a on a normal wow. difficulty setting. Okay. Yeah. So so. And then know, that probably scales up as you. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you if you go to ultra violence, it really changes the way you play and and, and your strategy. Um, and uh, uh, but then you know you can you can you can you can move through it uh, if you play on an easy skill level and just kind of like blow through it. Yeah. You can get through it. Uh, you know, quite a bit faster. We'll do speed runs that. Uh, <clears throat> Um, they, they kind of go a little bit further. We're going to actually jump ahead 